In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to flip with a 5 mil cash stack and make bank. Before we hop over to the Grand Exchange, let's talk a little bit about the strategy you want to take when flipping with a 5 mil stack. Before Grand Exchange taxes were implemented, I would say flipping high volume items actively on the Grand Exchange was the best way to grow a smaller cash stack, but now that is no longer the case. It is much better in the current flipping meta to focus on longer term flips or flips that you can do anywhere between a 4 to 12 hour period. That way you can maximize the daily price swings and actually get amazing margins. Flipping over longer time frames is really the only way that you can beat tax in this scenario and it's the only efficient way that you'll be able to grow a 5 mil cash stack. While it can be hard for newer players to learn how to flip overnight, it will be extremely beneficial in the long run because the overnight flipping principles for a 5 mil stack are the same as someone with max cash. So learning how to overnight flip will greatly benefit your flipping game and your money making gains going forward for the rest of the time that you play RuneScape. Enough of the strategy talk though, I'm at the Grand Exchange now with 5 mil in my cash stack and I'm going to show you how I deploy this across multiple items to make bank. We're going to focus on primarily flipping high volume items and the reason we want to do this is because high volume items are very stable and very safe to flip. When you're flipping with 5 mil, you really don't want to make any mistakes because any mistakes are going to make you lose money and that is detrimental when you only have 5 mil to work with. We're going to focus on consistent gains and consistent cash stack growth. That way we can get to flipping more items in the future and make more money. Keep in mind that the more money we have, the more money we will be able to make while flipping. So losing money is the exact opposite of what we want to do. Anyway, I'm going to hop over to GE Tracker and I'll show you how to analyze these items and figure out what prices to buy at and what prices to sell at. I just pulled up GE Tracker and by the way guys, if you don't have GE Tracker, you can sign up with my link in the description below. You'll get a trial to try out some of the premium features and I really love using GE Tracker. It has a lot of amazing tools that can help new flippers learn how to flip. Monkfish are a cheap, relatively high volume item that we can flip to make some good money over a 6 to 12 hour time frame. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the 24 hour graph here and look at where the price is fluctuating over that time. As you can see from the graph, the item price is relatively stable, but we have a larger dip down here where Monkfish crashed all the way to 246 GP, but besides that it has been relatively consistent. A lot of people get stuck up on these graphs and try to get super calculated on where they list their flips, but it's honestly a lot more simple than you think. Because I'm seeing the price come down to 252 or even 246 in this one instance, I believe that it's pretty likely we'll come back to around the 250 GP range. So I'm going to list my buy offer around 250 GP and hopefully try to sell them for around 275 GP as I can see they're peaking around 277 GP. We're going to pay about 2 GP in tax for every monkfish that we flip, so if we buy them for 250 and sell them for 275, we will be making about 13 GP each after tax. With a little bit of luck, we should easily be able to make at least 250k flipping the monkfish. In an ideal world, I'd want to list two full limits of this item, which would be 26,000 monkfish, but that would cost us about 6.5 mil, and since we're only flipping with 5 mil, we cannot do that. So what I'm going to do is list 2,000 monkfish, which is going to cost 500k, and we'll leave that offer in. Using the same exact graph reading strategy, I'm going to list 7 more items so we can fill up our grand exchange slots and flip 8 items in total. If you only flip one or two items, the likelihood that the flip is going to fill out is lower. When you list eight items, you have a higher chance of the trade going in your direction and for those outlier dips to actually get hit and your offers to buy out. So when you are flipping in this style, you don't expect every single item to buy out. You're really just hoping that you'll get like five to six buy offers finish and the other two slots that don't finish are just the outliers. As long as we can fill out 4 to 6 item slots every time we're flipping, we're going to make consistent profits in the long term and we'll slowly grow up our cash stack. 
tonight i'm looking at hopefully about one mil in gains if we get lucky uh if not we should range somewhere between 750 to 900k as I was listing my overnight offers, we actually had three offers finish in that time. And don't worry, if that happens to you, it's nothing to be stressed out about. If you did your analysis properly on the graph and bought into these items at their lowest price, then don't worry about it, you will be able to sell these back for a nice profit, even if they do end up buying before you log off. If that does happen as well, you can list them back to sell, and by the time you log on the next time, they should be sold off and you can collect your money. We're already making some great progress on our flips, so I'm going to log off for the day and let these offers fill out. And just like that, a bunch of our flips have come through, the Molten Glass and the Teleport to Houses have sold, which is awesome, very happy about those profits. We made about 12k on the Teleport to House, and 78k in total on the Molten Glass. We're going to turn around and sell the Blood Runes, Broad Bolts, and Monkfish for near their daily highs, and wait a little bit longer for the Amethyst Arrows to sell as well. We're going to leave everything to sell, then come back and put in new offers for another overnight session. And our flips have sold off. All in all, we made about 230k flipping these items. And yes, that does not include the Monkfish, the Runite Bolts, and of course these Rings of Recoil did not buy as well. We did make less money than I thought we would, but that's still a 5.9% ROI on our cash stack, so that's really good. Anyway, I'm going to set another round of overnight flips, we'll sell the runite bolts where they are right now, and we'll leave the monkfish to sell overnight. I have set all of our overnight flips, last night we made about 232k, this night I'm hoping for a little bit more, 350 to 400k, I don't think we're going to hit that 700k mark as I mentioned previously, but we can keep our fingers crossed. Anyway, I listed these items the exact same way that I listed my first set of items, looking at the daily low and the daily high prices, buying for the low price and selling for the high price. It is as simple as that. It's the next morning and it looks like we had a lot of luck buying items overnight. Not every offer filled, but we had a lot of offers fill about halfway or less. And we had four offers completely fill out regardless. I'm going to list these items back at their daily highs and see how much profit we can make. That is the absolute best site we can see when we're logging in. Very happy with that. All of our flips ended up selling. Last night, we made a total of 247k in profit, with our best flip being the gold bars, which ended up making us 70k, and since they weren't over 100 GP each, we actually did not have to pay any tax on it. And just like that, we're already at a 5.5 mil cash stack, which is a total of a 10% ROI on our starting stack. Just to prove how awesome flipping is, let's do one more night of flipping and see if we can get up to the 350 to 400k profit night. And I've deployed basically all the cash. My goal here was to flip items that have worked previous nights, as well as try a few new items. I highly recommend that you stick to items that work very well for you night after night, as that will snowball into a larger profit, and if you can figure out the pattern that an item is trading, it is going to make you a lot of money. Be sure to write down which flips work out well for you so in the future if you take a break you can come back to the game and you know which items were making you a lot of money before you left. It has been about 24 hours and all of our items have sold. The only item which didn't end up buying is the gold bars which I already cancelled but everything else has bought and sold. We definitely had a really good flip on the sharks overnight. I think we bought them for about 527 GP each, and we sold all of them back for 585. So after tax, that should be about an 80k profit. I'm going to go ahead and collect everything and see how much we made overnight. That was our best night yet. After everything has sold off here and we've collected our money, we actually ended up making 362k in profit. We did really well on these cannonballs as well, 76k in profit. And on the sharks, I think we did about 80k, which is nice. This video has been all about beginner flipping, so I hope you guys really did enjoy. If you have a smaller cash stack, like around 5 mil, Definitely get into flipping and especially overnight flipping. You can slowly build up your cash stack into something a lot larger and it takes almost no effort.
Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Definitely drop a like if you do. By the way, if you want to learn more about flipping and money making in old school RuneScape, definitely join us in our Discord group with the link in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.